would like to welcome to the stage the wonderful Ms. Fiona Gay. Hello, I'm Fiona Gay. I used to be a lawyer and I've become a high school teacher and I actually love it. It's worked out beautifully for me because uh, when I first arrived some of the kids used to call me horrible names but after a little while, I just sent a few of them letters using the letterhead of my former company. <laughs> They're good as gold right now. And I've dropped all the defamation charges too. <laughs> so, I am, I am passionate about the environment. Ah, who am I kidding? I'm nuts about the environment. <laughs> When I was a little kid, I used to actually go around collecting all the food scraps out of the compost bin in the uh, preschool yard and I would actually uh, compost them myself in my private compost bin, which was under a bush. <laughs> and uh, yeah, the school did develop a slight problem with rats, but uh, <laughs> think of all those banana peels I took out of landfill. So I, I guess in my kind of nuttiness, I kind of have a dialogue ongoing with a kind of mother nature voice. And if I see you know, something that bugs me, I'll kind of hear a, a voice that might say, Fiona, see that, that motorist over there who just threw their cigarette butt out of their car? You should go and tell them to put it in the bin. <laughs> yes, my mother nature voice kind of has a Swedish accent. And, uh, yeah, I've made some enemies in my time. <laughs> so there, there have been uh, casualties in my war on waste. And I don't mind telling you that all those casualties have been my relationships. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually, it is actually waste that gets my goat. There's something about um, misuse of resources and I, I can't control myself or... Mother Nature tells me what to do. So uh, when I was living in a share house in uni, I actually got kicked out because my housemates caught me refilling the kettle with my hot water bottle. <laughs> they were so unimaginative. They were filling the kettle from the tap. <laughs> Whereas I've discovered, you know, there's a store of partially warmed water and if you get that into the kettle while it's still warm, you really close that loop down. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so you can actually get five cycles on the same hot water bottle and kettle before the tea water tastes absolutely disgusting. <sighs> so, yeah, like I said, there have been casualties in my relationships, but occasionally I'll have a real battle with myself. And one of my personal battles took place uh, back in 99. I was in Sydney. I was walking down the street of a really kind of fancy suburb and there were apartment blocks on either side of the street and I saw on the ground a pair of Calvin Klein underpants. Wow. They had blown off someone's balcony onto the street and I saw them, I bent down to pick them up Ooh, but I was a little bit torn because <laughs> even for me, secondhand underpants is a bit of a bridge that I'd never crossed before and they were male underpants. <laughs> so I went to grab the pants and Mother Nature intervened and said, Fiona, you should take those pants off the street because if you leave them there, they could wash down a stormwater drain and it's better for you to wear them than a sea turtle. <laughs> so I took those pants and I'm so glad I did because they've turned out to be my best pair. <laughs> Still going. A little bit threadbare. Few holes, but they're kind of sexy, I think, kind of like Calvin Klein lingerie. Free. Hello. <sighs> okay. Oh, I think I see, uh, is that Malcolm Turnbull outside? He's naked? Oh, my God. Check that out. Oh. 
<laughs> oh, my mistake, my mistake. So sometimes I, I do get a bit sad that other people don't seem to, to hear a Mother Nature voice in the same way that I do. Or, or maybe they do hear a Mother Nature voice, but maybe it's kind of a, a less Swedish and more of a relaxed Australian Mother Nature voice. Maybe it's a bit more relaxed or apathetic or lazy. Something like, Oi, dickhead, you've dropped the cigarette butt. You should pick that up or I'll blow it somewhere. Oh, I don't care. <laughs> or maybe it's like, Hey, sunshine, you've left the air conditioning on and the window's open. You should turn off the air conditioning or I'll, I'll make tomorrow even hotter. Ugh. You're just going to crank the air conditioner up even more. I don't even care. I'm just going to have a wine and go and watch Survivor. <laughs> On that note, you guys should have a wine and enjoy the evening. You've been beautiful. Thank you so much. Fiona Game.